Hi there, my name is Jordy Christo. I've been working with the Intuit Homestead website program for several years. Just so you know a little bit about me, um, I developed the Homestead Users Marketing Center, which has a lot of products to help Intuit website users. And um, I developed the SEO Extreme video series, which teaches how to get better search engine rankings with Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Put together the sitemap tutorials for the Intuit Homestead website users um, teaches you how to import a sitemap and how to get it registered with Google and also I put together the beginners video series for site builder users I have two websites homesteadusers.com and homesteadwebsitebuilder.com is our new blog I want to talk to you about misconceptions uh, understanding search engines SEO traffic and monitoring statistics now when I first started um, my first website, I just had this idea that if I would build it, people would come. And what a misconception that was. After two months of building my website, I had absolutely no traffic at all. It was very discouraging, but there's a reason for that. And I know how to get traffic to come to my website. I can teach you how to, how to get traffic, too. Um, but that's a real misconception that we have. There are certain things that we must do correctly with our websites in order to get traffic. And we also need to understand that it takes a while to establish a reputation on the Internet, just like any other business. Um, it takes a while to, you know, through advertising and through word of mouth and through time, eventually our, bi our businesses begin to have more people that come to us um, to use our services or products, and the same thing happens on the Internet. This is just the way that it works. Um, <coughs> one of the vehicles that our Internet businesses and websites get built through are search engines. The top three search engines are Google, Yahoo, and Bing, and Google is the king of the search engines. I like to use YouTube to find things. I always go to YouTube and search for information. If I'm looking at trying to learn how to do something, I'll go to YouTube. Let's say, for instance, you have a website about dog training, and I wanted to find you. I'm trying to find out how to get my dog to sit on command. So I would go to Google, type in the search box, how to get my dog to sit on command, dog training, and then I would click Submit. And if you have your website page and your content optimized correctly, then there's a good chance that you'll be on the first page of Google, and I will make it to your website. Now, those are the types of things that I teach in the SEO Extreme video series is how to get good results through the search engines, and it just basically takes an investment of your time and learning how to do that. It won't cost you anything to advertise with Google. It'll be free traffic that you will be getting. Search engines are very important um, to bring we uh, visitors to your website. Now, search engine optimization, um, a brief overview of what that is, is um, you're going to have to learn how to work with keywords and keyword phrases. You're going to have to have particular words on your pages, um, like dog training, how to get a dog to sit. Those would have to be on your website page in order for Google to actually direct me to go to your website. Um, you need to learn about HTML codes. There's a specific codes that you need to enter in the Site Builder program that will help you get better rankings with search engines. Here again, I teach you this in the SEO Extreme video series. Content. You need to generate a lot of content in order to establish yourself as an authority on the internet for your particular niche. Um, an example is I started a website about nine months ago and I made a commitment to just keep publishing articles every day and right now I have over 400 visitors a day coming to that website. Well, it's because I optimized my website properly through correct SEO techniques and also because I produce a lot of content so I'm recognized in, as an authority and I get high rankings with Google, Yahoo, and MSM. You need to create a site map. Um, I have a tutorial on that at homesteadusers.com. Um, all right, so that's all I want to tell you about search engine optimization. Traffic. You can get organic traffic, which is free traffic, or you can pay to get traffic. Google has a program. It's called Google AdWords. And depending on how many people are in your niche competing for specific keyword phrases when you design your ad, that will determine how much it costs you per click. It may cost you five cents a click or five dollars a click. Depends on how many people are competing 
for your particular phrase that is in that advertisement that you made. Um, you can get traffic through email marketing. Um, Homestead Intuit has a newsletter feature where you can begin to collect email addresses. You just have to offer something in exchange for their email address. Then you can email them and bring them back into your site periodically to look at whatever it is you're selling or the information that you have published onto your website. Social media, Facebook, um, MySpace and YouTube, if you create an account in one of these membership sites and then you begin to um, get a lot of friends through your Facebook account, let's say as an example, and then after you have a lot of friends, periodically you just post links to your website in there giving information about what's on your site, and hopefully you can get some traffic through that. Right now, Twitter is like the big deal out there for social media. Lots of people using Twitter. Um, article, article marketing, easy articles and go articles are my two favorite places to use. What you do is you write an article and then at the bottom of the article there's a section where you can have an author bio and in that section you can put a link that goes to your website. That'll bring traffic, easy in articles. Um, just about every article that I write ends up on the front page of Google uh, because Google just loves easy in articles. All right, here again, let me just point uh, on time. Again, let's talk about that. It's going to take time to establish yourself on the Internet and get a lot of traffic. You just keep publishing optimized content and be patient, and eventually you will get loads and loads of traffic to your website. Monitoring your statistics inside of your Intuit Homestead main account, not the site builder, but in your main account, there's a place where you can click on a link that says view your website statistics. That will This will take you to Real Tracker, and you can see exactly how people are finding your Intuit Homestead website. You'll be able to see the phrases they used, and you'll also be able to see where they came from, whether it was Google, Bing, Yahoo, uh, YouTube. Um, it'll give you all that type of information. Then you can focus in on those pages and start moving them up in the results pages. It'll bring you a lot more traffic. Okay, so here's my pitch. Homesteadusers.com is where all these products are at. The SEO Extreme video series will teach you how to get more traffic. The sitemap tutorial will get more of your pages indexed in the search engines. And the beginner's video series will take you all through the Site Builder program and show you um, all the different functions inside of there and how to use them in the most effective way. Um, you can join the Homestead Users Marketing Center. It's just loaded with lots of information. Listen, rate my videos, subscribe to my videos, and have a great day.